morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, everybody. Welcome back to another Jessica Kirsch live stream. My name is Jessica Kirsch, and we are live outside of the Rocket Garden here in Starbase, Boca Chica, Brownsville, Texas, on the border by the sea and beyond. And we are currently looking at a very dark Ship 24. Uh, workers just came down from on a crew lift. Oops, where'd it go, where'd it go? I'm looking for it, looking for it. Okay, you just have to forgive me, it's very dark out here. Uh, I think they're right up there somewhere. Let me change the settings so we can see something, maybe. Uh, it is very hazy out here today, so you're gonna see some grain. They're being very strategic tonight. Very strategic. Strategery is being, being, is happening. I'm actually gonna change out my angle. I'm gonna put my high visibility vest on so I can move around a little bit. This is indeed the ship that will be going orbital. So it's exciting. Uh, there were at least four crew lifts up there. Oh, here comes another one in different hatches. Um, as I was putting the stream thumbnail up and titling it and doing all that jib jab in my car. So within the last 30, 20 minutes or so, uh, some have come down, but they keep, they go down and then they come back up, go down, come back up. So there's another one that appears to be coming up, right? I see a red light, right? Where is it? It's hard to see in here. Right there. That's one. The mosquitoes are running rampant this evening, I can tell you that. They're going into that porthole right there, that hatch. I'm wondering if that hatch, these hatches that they're sealing, maybe not the, the top one, the nose cone area, but maybe these bottom ones might have cameras coming out of them because I see that they have clear tempered glass. Here comes another crew lift too. Yay, they're coming back up. Clear tempered glass on them right now at least um, and a fan. So I, the fan is obviously for ventilation, but I'm wondering if maybe that will be have cameras mounted in it so that we can see it. What it looks like as it's flying around the Earth on its first orbital flight, because it's going to be a success, right? To, I, did I already give the date today? Today's date is uh, Sunday, March 26th, 2023. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going in. See how there's a clear, clear cover on it right now. And if there's not, then there was earlier when I would be the. I do not have eyes on chat right now. My apologies. These nighttime shots are getting harder and harder without any light uh, shine shining on the work that's going on. So, trying to manage it all at the same time. How we doing, everybody? How's everybody doing? You know, in the chat, who's excited? There they go. Who's excited for the first orbital flight? in the coming, hopefully, hopefully in the coming month. And I'm kind of stumbling over my words a little bit because I'm still, um, I don't know, I'm just, I've been feeling really off recently. Uh, not only in pain, but just 
off overthinking things and, and all that good stuff. So my apologies for kind of stumbling over my speech. But I don't want to miss what's going on out here because these are these are the moments that we've been waiting for for the past couple years. Oh, they're moving in unison together. That's pretty cool. All right, okay. All right, okay. Switch. Bam, bam. Interesting. Maybe they're trying to make it to an angle that we can't see in, probably. That would make sense. Oops. Hard to tell what's going on up there because I can't even see him, which is very strategic. It is really beautiful. Those are really beautiful colors, though. I'll take it. It's like they're operating, performing surgery. There he goes into the booster. I mean, sorry, the ship. We're not looking at booster, we're looking at ship. Ship 24. Going down, down into the ship. Not swinging. I'm gonna get my high, high visibility vest so that people can see where I'm standing. Let's see if I can find it in here somewhere. Put my blinders. <laughs> I should put it in the same spot every single time so that I don't lose it. Always, I'm looking for it. You all are hearing me pull up my blinders. Last visor. Now I look for the vest. Hello, high visibility vest. Where can I find you? I know you're in here somewhere. I saw you yesterday. I saw you this morning. Where else could I put you? Never know. Never know where things are hidden in this curve. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oop, there it is. Found it. Sweet. High visibility vest. So that grain that you're seeing is not 
I mean, it's not necessarily noise from the ISO, although the ISO is kicked up pretty high for obvious purposes. But we still have a crew lift up at the, the higher hatch. We've got this hatch being worked on. And then uh, there was one in the mid hatch. I actually don't know exactly what the... So if I'm looking at the, at the ship on its belly, right, the non heat shield side, it is about halfway up to the left, uh, above the cold gas thrusters. There's a hatch. Could be the top of the liquid oxygen tank. I'm talking about. See, there's one of the cold gas thrusters. Burp. Cowbell. I'm not feeling good. And it looks like there's a laser on that. Like a, oh, it's just a light. And the only cure is more cowbell. This one. This is the hatch I'm talking about. There is, it appears to be still a ladder in there. you all think but I think that they possibly could be finalizing everything for this ship as we are getting closer and closer to orbital once this is sealed and ready to go and the orbital launch mount is ready to receive the ship sorry ready to receive the booster and the ship at the booster momentarily I forgot that the booster is not on the OLM, duh, certain work. Once it's ready to receive the booster and the chopsticks lift the booster up onto the OLM, then I think that they will roll out the ship and use the chopsticks to lift the ship on top of the booster and we will have another full stack. So very exciting things coming up. Um, it would be really neat if they brought out the ship and sat it beside the booster and did a, a full stack all in one day. I think that would be pretty cool to test out, or not to necessarily test it, because they have been testing for a long time, but to demonstrate how quickly and efficiently and effectively and um, how routine it's become for stacking or for placing boosters and ships onto the OLM. Okay, we're going down. What are your thoughts? I'd love to know in the chat. Even though I'm not currently reading the chat, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Horse flies are back. Gotta love those horse flies. They're so big. They're as big as a horse. I feel like I could saddle them up and ride them. Gotta love the deep South Texas. Horse flies. I know you want it. I know you want it. All right, pulling up my pewter. That's 61 people and 48 likes. How about we make those numbers match? Can we make those numbers match? Let's try that. Can we surpass the number of viewers by the number of likes? Everybody hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Like JP says, JP in the chat says, please hit that like button. Hi, Uncle Yukon. I'm going to give a shout out to my channel members. Dan Elton was here earlier, but he said he's 
going to sleep. Best of luck. Uh, Nick Lovell is here. Hi, Nick. I love the Mars emote. Spinnaker is also here. He's a channel member as well. Moonbeam Bruce is also a channel member. He's going to bed from Moonbeam, Ontario. Uncle Yukon, I said. Charlie Carey is also a channel member. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank you so much, channel members, for supporting this. <laughs> Jax, hi Jax, oh my gosh. We have a celebrity in the chat. Jax, I thoroughly enjoyed the RGB uh, Starbase Weekly stream that you spoke on last week. I didn't have the opportunity to watch all of this week's, but first of all, your voice is very soothing. Second of all, I learned so much in such a short period of time. So thank you for your wealth of knowledge. Tremendous, tremendous resource. Thank you. We got 58 likes, 60 viewers. That we're getting close. Let's do it. Uh, if you haven't checked your resolution, everybody go ahead and do a double check. Resolution. Make sure you're viewing this stream in 1080p at 60 frames per second. It's the highest resolution available with this particular stream pack. Uh, it will be grainy because of the haze but, and also the darkness, but I promise you it's a lot better to see it that way if you can. Oh no, Legend Maker's stroke going on for almost a month and still being alive, unlikely. Oh my gosh. Likely seems like a spinal cord issue, like a disc or pinch nerve. Legend Maker, are you talking about yourself? Philippines. I wish you could see it in the sky too. All right, I'm gonna. Noah, what's up? Cold, cold, cold. Oh, heck yeah, we surpassed our likes, our views. Jimbo Thunderhawk, thanks for the bouquet of roses or a flowers emote. Yes, well, teamwork makes a dream work. Y'all do such a great job. And um, it was just really helpful. So yeah, if y'all haven't seen or don't have watched the Starbase Weekly episodes from RGB Aerial Photography, Mauricio. Uh, the team is amazing, who's doing the analysis. And uh, Mauricio's amazing, and I just highly recommend, highly re recommend it. Okay, I'm going to make a move here quickly. Beep boop, a beep boop. I'm going to change up my locale, show you some other things. Uh, just be aware that the stream may drop as I'm moving, but so there, there, I go this way. And we are, the haze is getting pretty bad right now. So we're looking, there's the private property signs, they're back, I figured they would be. We're looking at the Star Factory right now. Right here. And I will up this and this down. Mosquito, get out of here. So that's the side of the Star Factory. The 
haze is getting crazy. You can see the, the moisture build up on the outside of the building right there. It's nuts. That's, that's what my car looks like right now. Just all bleh. Just got bitten on my cheek, both sides. Two different mosquitoes. Love it. Spray some more interior killer on me. Whew. Hey Trent, what's going on? Beep boop up beep. Okay, I'm closing my computer. I will not be seeing playback for a little bit. Oh wow, it's getting really hazy. Like really hazy. So the lens might fog up too. Oh, it's already fogged up. Okay. Let me wipe y'all off. It's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it? <laughs> one of those nights. Constantly wiping. Sorry, everybody. Excuse you, excuse you. Just kidding, that's not, they're just a little psh, the pressurizing thing. I can't even form my words, the pressurizing thing. Wow, I'm in rare form. All right, so let me zoom this out, bring this back up. We're gonna walk, walk that direction. Here we go. Oh. There's a car. Uh, it is muddy here. So, uh, it's a little bit slippery. Little bit slippery. Lots of haze. Okay, we're coming up on the construction site here of the new structure. Okay, we're looking at the property, property, or sorry, private property sign, which is right here and here. And real quick, I'm gonna do a look back. Also, side note, interesting note, uh, you can see the bottom of Ship 26. You probably can't tell from this angle. I was in some pictures earlier, but they do have it illuminated with LEDs. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's for working on it or what, but it looks pretty cool. All right. Oh, you can't see the other crew lift, but there is one back there. That's proof that there is one back there. Let's see. I think we're just at the a bad angle for that. But that's okay, we tried from that angle. But most importantly, I just wanted to, well, there's Jupiter. And then the moon is up here. Let me show you that. If I can lean back far enough almost. No, I can't. We'll be on two wheels, aka two tripod sticks. Okay. Hold on, everybody. We're gonna zoom it around. Okay. Back to this. This. At first I thought it was a drainage dish. Now I just think it's um, electrical or it's some kind of wiring. And they covered it in cement and sprinkled it with this purpley stuff. Not sure if that um, helps cure the cement, but we saw that the other day. So this is just at the base of, this is at the edge of uh, the Olympus Mons Park what used to be the Airstream Park. 
as you can see, there's the cable. Those are the power boxes that the Airstreams used to be plugged into. Uh, the Tiki bar is back there. And it's going fast by that for privacy reasons. Uh, you can see the back of Stargate there with the American flag. You can see the traffic flying down Highway 4. Uh, this is the back of the mega bay structure. You can see the wetness coming down. It's, it's pretty moist out here. Okay. All right, let me... We've got restrooms, we've got all that stuff. All right, now we are looking towards the foundations that are I don't think much has changed from whichever day I was out here last. They've dug the footings and the, um, put the rebar right there. We're looking at rebar for the sides of this structure. And I will just kind of um, see how do I do this without, without enough light. Just gonna have to focus in and make sure it's in focus. Okay, so I'm trying to get the rebar in focus. Okay, rebar, 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 rebar. The concrete culverts are in focus as well. There's a generator. And then there's an area that has no rebar, right? More rebar. I hope you like the singing along with it. And then rebar, and then they have these, this, is it wood? It looks like some kind of composite wood that is held up like a wall to, I'm assuming keep the earth in, or maybe just to pour the concrete. That's what we're looking at here. You can see it, it goes down just a little bit, about I don't know, more than three feet probably. Look at the rebar, the taller rebar, that's interesting. So if we look at it from a distance, there's one side of it, let's see. You can't, that's my finger. Okay, that's, this is one side of it. And then this is the other side of it. If that makes sense. It's kind of hard to get a concept of it, even from the ground here. I'm a little bit confused. Let's see, we're looking at the, the concrete culverts in the background. What's that black piping up there? Looks like it Lincoln Logs almost. Got some crates back there. Then we have the Inflata Shed. I don't know what it's actually called, but I just noticed the other day that it looks like one of those inflatable buildings that um, in cold areas, like places like where I grew up in Indiana, even in Arizona they had it, and swimming pools to keep it warmer in the wintertime. Um, I've seen that structure for a while, I just didn't realize that it was tarpish because I don't normally come this direction and come this far. Okay, now we're looking at the side of the Star Factory. Please feel free to chime in with any knowledge or anything. Um, I'm happy to learn and I don't know everything. I actually don't even know, uh, even just, I know just a little bit. And um, even sometimes what I think I know is uh, not what, turns out I'm, I'm wrong. So please correct me. Um, we're here to learn together. What is that? This is, um, I photographed something, maybe the end or the, tippy toppy of what will be on top of this thing. Where's that? That's a crane, isn't it? Never mind. Burp, burp. I thought maybe it was like a Starlink 
antennae or something. So you can see just the bottom of some rings in there. Star Factory. Pretty cool. It's so quiet, it's very peaceful out here. Ooh, it's moist, very moist. All right. Beep, beep, beep. There's the edge of the Star Factory. Look at that. Talk about fog. Wowza. What we're seeing here is uh, the white foreground building is the Star Factory. And then to the left of center in the background is the windbreak. And then to the bottom right is tent, I forget what y'all call them on other streams, but there's tent one, tent two, tent three, and I consider tent three, the one that's closest to Boca Chica Highway or Highway four, I consider that tent three. I don't know why, call me dyslexic. Um, the one that's furthest away from the public road. I would call this one tent one. But I know that that does, it doesn't match up based on what other streams say. I'm pretty sure it doesn't match up. They call it like carrots and peas or something. I think Dave Avery is the one that told me that at one point. And by the way, I am dyslexic, so I wouldn't be surprised. Rebar. There's a water tank right there. It's like maybe some wood pallets. Probably to build that support structure to lay the concrete. What is that laying outside of the Star Factory on the ground? I wonder. It is quiet down here this evening. It's very nice. Okay, a little bit better view of the footings. It sounds like maybe they're coming down behind me, so. Private property. We do not trespass. Private property. Please do not trespass. All right. Looks like there's some insulation or foam or sorts. Some piping. Oh, that's PVC. Okay, they are coming down. I hear them. Oops. Okay, let me just quickly go back this way just to give you an idea. There's that ditch or trench, the construction fence. Behind that is the Tiki Bar. This is where Olympus Mons is. In the background, where the light is, that's the entrance to the Sanchez uh, building construction facility. I think that they're, it's a building. Um, I hear one of these coming down, and I'm, I think I'm correct. Yep, or it's going up, okay. 
We have a third one going up. All right. Or maybe it could be coming down because that was the one that was at the other hole. Um, I will show you what I'm seeing here underneath. Once again, this is ship 24. This is the ship that will, this will be our ship that performs the very first orbital flight test for Starship. This is our vessel. Here's the bottom of ship 20. It's beautiful heat shield tiles. Oh yeah. Love those. Now we are going back to ship 24. Oh, there's the hole. Okay, let me just go this way just a little bit. There we go. I can't, s it's probably about as best view as we're gonna get, but I did see those long things going in earlier. What are those long poles? They support structures. Um, I kind of vaguely remember, remember when the transfer tube on booster seven uh, collapsed during a static fire test? I vaguely recall them sticking a similar tube, maybe not tube, a pole, uh, but they actually were bent kind of like a what's going on hand. You probably can't see me, but uh, I don't know if that is structural support, or structural integrity for the inside or, or what. I'd love to know what, what those poles are. Oh, there's a scissor lift coming up now. Oh, inspection cameras, Chrome Kiwi. That makes sense, all right. Reading is rather difficult. Yes, I hear that, settle, settle. Doodle is still here, Doodle, we love you. Taller for support columns, all right. You brought the backbone of the support structure steel, the real deal, says walkie talkie. Okay, Dot. Testing. Doodle reads a lot. Oh, Doodle. What's up, IRRI? I see you there. Doodle reads very old books, he says. Wow, Unky. Uncle Yukon says he used to read bunches as a kid and young adult. You subscribed to four newspapers and other magazines. Wow. I didn't, I knew it was difficult for me to comprehend what I'd read as a child. My mind would wander, all that stuff, but it got to the point where I'd have to use a note card to cover up the lines below, whichever line I was reading in a book. So I'd, I'd literally read it line by line, make sure I understood what the line said, and then go to the next line. Cause my, my eyes, it's like they get overwhelmed, I guess, by all of the, the text. I'm not exactly sure. I do enjoy Sudoku and stimulating my brain in all kinds of other ways. But reading has never been a strength of mine. Actually, when I received emails and text messages or messages online, I typically, if the, it will allow me, I'll select all of the text, even if it's just a paragraph, and I'll have it read to me. So I can hear it without any inflection and try to understand it in the most non, um, in the most, what's the word? simple and pure way possible. So there's no entertain or there's no, I can't put it into my brain what they possibly could be saying, but 
but they're not. I, I just want to hear it with no, no inflection, if that makes sense. And it also just hear, helps me to hear it out loud as opposed to having to stop what I'm doing and read it as because normally I'm driving or doing eight bajillion other things at once. Sure. Ah, <laughs> good Kremlin media. <laughs> Okay, so that's going on. Uh, this is the Rocket Garden experience. And I'm going to just walk over, show you the base of Ship 26, and then uh, possibly pack up, because we're losing people left and right here. Pack up, and plus, like we've seen this, been there, done that, right? Go over to the OLM, because there's a ton of work I'm sure still going on. I was actually out on Boca Chica filming through the night last night, uh, but I did not go live. So I just have the footage, <laughs> hours and hours of it. There was so much welding going on. Before I leave this spot, is there anything else specifically that you would like me to zoom in on or to check on? Because I am looking at a two little two inch monitor on the back of my camera. It's not even a monitor, it's the playback. I can't, I usually can't see what I'm looking at until I get home and put it on um, my TV at home. Sometimes that's the next day, sometimes it's when I'm getting in the shower. Uh, but I often miss most of what was in the frame unless it was illuminated or brought to my attention with headlamps and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it there for a moment and then I'm going to check chat. There we go. Perpetual understands. You have trouble understanding things that are promotion-based. Right, exactly. You get it. Good night, walkie-talkie. Thanks for the K-dot. Does anyone at Boca Chica sleep? <laughs> uh, when we can. We sleep when we can. Uh, you're requesting a smile. Well, I am... Um, on a big zoom lens. Oh, IRRI would rock around a table when they read. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense if you're moving, that would make sense. I get that. So coming up HDMI out, sounds like you need an ex I do need an external, mo external monitor for sure. Uh, the HDMI out is currently plugged into my streaming pack but um, I don't have a switcher, a proper switcher. And they do make switchers with built-in monitors, but of course, like everything else, they cost a lot of money, so here we are. To see what the hell I'm looking at, right, Good Gremlin? What's up, Daryl, how you doing? Doodle has trouble sleeping and hungry at night. You must be insomniac. You know what? The nighttime is when I feel the most alive. JP uses Sudoku to shut the brain down if you're having difficulty getting to sleep. Wow. Blocks out the flood of thoughts. Wow. That's amazing. Ear front. Paul Sessions. Okay. So that's going on. I keep hearing what I think is a snake because I've been seeing snakes on the side of the road, like a lot of them recently, which I should not be afraid of. I came from Arizona. I'm gonna have to go pretty far for this. We'll see. Stand by everybody while I step in the frame. Woot, Bassman, 
my basement. How do I feel about end of April launch date? Uh, you know what? When the general public finds out the launch date, I'll probably find out after. <laughs> That's how do I feel about it? That's one thing. Um, but I won't, I definitely won't know about it. So I think that they have to finish the OLM and I think the water deluge system also needs to be finished. And I think that they're doing that very quickly. But I think that that will be a really big indicator when they start pulling all the scaffolding off the top of the OLM. Um, are they going to be installing blast shielding underneath the OLM on the bottom part? Or am I just crazy to, to make the full donut ring? Oh, it just got better. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, no, no, I'm totally, I'm, I'm a hiker and I'm a mountain biker and a rock climber and I've learned to not be afraid of snakes, but I'm in my, my, my boots, my snake boots. Uh, normally I have my ears occupied, so if, if it's a rattlesnake, I might not necessarily hear it, um, but that's good because the babies are the ones that are the most venomous and they, a baby rattlesnake probably couldn't bite through these. Okay. All right, we're gonna make a move. So everybody hang tight. What's probably going to happen is, well, let's see, I'm gonna first walk. This is not good for my neck or back, but it is okay. Doing it for the team, y'all. I'm doing it for the team. I love the lighting over there, that's so cool. Looks like so much fun to be a SpaceX employee. All right, almost there. Okay, I've walked about 150 feet, not 150, maybe 50 feet. Set it down to for a break. Scissor lift. Puffing and puffing and blowing the house down. you all hanging out here. I know that there are plenty of streams to choose from. It's meaningful that you uh, have chosen to spend part of your time watching this stream and hanging with this community. Thank you. Mosquitoes. Scissor lift, scissor lift. Such cool colors. Oh, here comes one of the poles, the inspection cameras. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. I see. I see it now. Okay. All right. If 
very interesting. Here comes another lift. Here comes a lift. Da na na na. Probably to block our view. Da na na na. I don't blame them. Da na na na. bright yellow vest partly for traffic but partly also so that the workers know they're being filmed if they glance over here they should be able to see my reflectivity there's no sneaking around I don't do that kind of stuff not trying to get anybody in trouble I uh, just want to share history dueling lifts that's right nice Oh, speech to captions, just call it Sailor Moon Lift. <laughs> I love it. I love using speech to captions. Actually, I purposefully put the 20 second delay on the stream when we're live so that um, anybody can listen, or sorry, know what I'm saying, or at least partially what I'm saying when they don't have the volume on, or maybe they are hearing impaired, or maybe they're like me, and they just want to double check that what they thought they heard is exactly, not exactly, but is what Google also heard. So, Starship's getting in, uh, into Scopy, that's right. Shared times two, thank you Doodle so much. What's up, Michael Maxi, one of my channel members. Thank you for showing, being here. Snake, oh yeah. Same with all baby poisonous snakes, that makes sense. We just got a $5.50 Canadian Super Chat. FYI, random Canadians gift YouTube streamers maple syrup around launch date. I will take it. Um, I Maple syrup is delicious. I do live in a trailer, so hopefully it's not like a big jug of it. Um, but, and I don't have a toaster, so I can't eat waffles or, or make, um, make, uh, la, la, la. What, is, what am I trying to think? Um, pancakes. I would love to have them. But I'm all in. Sure, that would be really sweet. That's pretty funny. Thank you so much. Woot Bassman or Baseman. If I can't use it, then it will be gifted to somebody who will appreciate it just as much. What's up, pal? Welcome, welcome. The sound of silence, Liam Lawless. I do not know it well enough to sing it confidently. I'd have to read the lyrics. Ugh. I was laughing, Stan J says, laughing last week, you have a bunch of folks in from Taiwan and they thought the crane flies were Texas mosquitoes. I mean, crane fly, yeah, I mean, the state bird is the mosquito in my opinion, or the horse fly. They are ginormous. It's a team effort here. What do you think they're looking for? What do you think that they're checking for? Trains and planes and automobiles. Uh, 
I know I'm crazy. I like I know that I like that one, Michael, as a Mike as a mosquito bites my face. They think I'm crazy. I have to remember the words though. Aaron L trains and planes. I see your eyes. Infant instant caffeinate tastes great, says Edward Irwin. What's up, Steve Hockley? Dear fly, oh my, that's right. What ship are they probing anyways? I can't tell. Good Gremlin Media, great question. This is ship 24. This is the ship that will be flying, sorry, launching on top of booster seven and those two vessels combined will make a fully stacked starship and this will be the vessel or the vehicle that will be performing the first orbital flight test number one so this is this is it this is what we're looking at this is it my lens is like moist Ugh. It is confirmed, ship 24. Uh, I would show you, but I'm not sure that you'd be able to see it at the top. So, all right, let's see. I don't even think my tripod will go high enough. There is another crew lift up here. They've been up there for a long time. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the interior. That's pretty cool. There's a home in there too. Sorry, I got distracted on my way up to the top. <laughs> Look at that, that's so cool. The inside guts. Okay. I'm gonna try to go all the way up if I can. Well, let's see what... Looking in. So, I believe Jax confirmed that this hatch is the payload area. So that's pretty cool. We'd love to know what kind of dummy payload they'll be using, even if they don't actually release it into orbit. It's gotta be something silly, you know it will be. It'll be an Optimus robot sitting on in Starman's passenger side seat in the red Tesla Roadster. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Not a bad idea either. Okay. I'm going up to the top so y'all can see. See, you're not going to be able to see that it. it's ship 24. Let's see. Uh, let me. I don't even know where the. There we go. See, it says X right there. Let me X and get it in focus. We are on two legs on my tripod, so just bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this to manual. And right here, it should say S24. It does. See where it says S24. Confirm, please, in the chat that you see S24. I am hand holding this. So, the faster that you confirm, the better. Thank you, please, and thank you. There's the, the X, SpaceX. Then we're gonna go back down as slowly as I possibly can. can. All right, it's really 
really hazy here, so it's almost, it's already dark, so it's almost not impossible, but pretty tough. What does that say right there? 4V39 or 0929? Camera's gonna fall. Hold on one second. <laughs> Big ol' lens. Inspection, inspections are happening on ship 24. Okay, let's go this way. Put you down like this. Pressurization happening. Okay, picking up dry mud. Here we go. I wanted to show you the bottom of ship 26. Well, there's the moon. That's cool. That's a really cool shot right there. Wow. Okay. Okay, boom. Very dark around here. So, ouch. Before I forget, this is the bottom of ship 26. You can see it has LED lights strung all around it. Let me bop these down. So you can just see, literally, they're just a string of LED lights. Interesting. It certainly does illuminate the bottom of that nicely for people to work. Let me just go to a different angle here real quick. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now you can really see it. We're looking at ship 26 on its new stand. LED lights and all. There's a car coming. I think it's security probably. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna go up. Ship 26 slowly, oh, nope, they stopped. Okay, forgive me everybody. So much movement. We're looking at ship 26 and it's gonna get really dark, so my apologies. I'm gonna have to go backwards. Almost there, almost there, almost there. There's the top connected to the squid. Difficult to see without the light. It certainly is beautiful. That's a pretty cool shot right there. Now we're looking back at ship 24. But I am going to move from this angle because I wanna show you what the moon looks like, if I can. I hear something happen. There it is. Just ain't exactly. We got venting coming from Sanchez. All right, he's ready for a moonshot. Here we go. Gently going up. Side of ship 24. There's the there's a human. There's the moon. Isn't that cool? I could get it all in the frame. You can see, you can actually see the haze. Wow. Ooh. 
Look at that. Pretty cool. Moon. Do 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 dance, and we get it almost every night. When the moon is big and bright, it's supernatural delight. Dancing in the moonlight, dancing in the moonlight, everybody feel a woman right. It's just a natural sight. I don't know all the words right now. Okay, going back down. Why does it always take me 10 times as long when I say I'm gonna wrap? The scissor lift has vacated the scene. Final work is being done here. But this is exciting, everybody. I don't know when it's going to roll. This is, once again, this is Ship 24. This will be our, this will be our vessel that will perform. This will be the, the, this will be part of Starship that will perform the orbital flight test, number one, OFT-1. So it's very exciting. Final preparations are underway, as far as I know. That's what it appears. Um, I've been here since it was light outside. Oh, looks like they're sealing it off, maybe. Oh yeah, sealing it up. They've been working since it's it was still at outside. <laughs> Let me guess, there's like zero visibility at the launch site. So I, I see the human on the top portion moving around. Oh, hey. Such a beautiful shot. Oh my gosh. Ermagersh, Jessica Kirsch. Wow. I need to wipe the lens off, but I don't want to miss this. Sh I don't want to miss a thing. I have such bad FOMO. Every time I move my lens, I feel like I'm missing out on something super important. But I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Bum, 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 bum. Hope you're enjoying this. It's entertaining to sing. So this, these beautiful heat shield tiles right here. This is ship 20. Look at those gorgeous tiles. Me, ow, meow, ow. I want to lick them. By the way, uh, thank you, Nick Lovell, for that 70 US dollars on PayPal. That was a donation, Nick Lovell, for 70 US dollars on PayPal. 
I'm going to snap for that. Snapping, 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 snapping. Also, Benjamin E., thank you so, so much. I just saw that there is a $75 PayPal donation. Oh my gosh, you all care. You hear me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Benjamin E. For 75 US dollars donation on PayPal. Snap, 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 snap. Snappy, snappy. Snappy, 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 snappy. Snappy, snappy. Thank you. By the way, heads up, I do have a PayPal that accepts donations. If you'd like to support the stream, help me pay for the data fees for live streaming this to you right now. Uh, that'd be super helpful. So there's two people that just came, are coming in with toolboxes. What a beautiful shot that is. Nick Lovell, or Nick Lovell, I appreciate you being awake, alive, and, no, of course alive, but alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. I've been streaming nonstop and you have been here. So you're always here and I just appreciate that. And also my other mods that are consistently here. Uncle Yukon, you're definitely one of those mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continuously hanging out, talking to chat, making sure everybody's behaving, all of that good stuff. I couldn't do it alone. You make me feel not so alone. I'd like to give a special shout out. Uh, there is a, a GoFundMe currently being run, or not being run, but it's been put together by um, at Tesla Diva 99 on Twitter. And it is in support of the uh, River Fork, Missouri, sorry, River, For River Fork, Mississippi, not Missouri, River Fork, Mississippi tornado victim relief. Uh, it was a, in, I was watching the tornado as it was on the ground, was that yesterday or two days ago? And uh, the damage is just insane. Like nothing I've ever seen besides Joplin. And then before that, I, I'm not even sure what would come, what, what else was at that level. And in the category of tornadoes that I've actually seen, not in person, but when, while they were happening, uh, sh they have picked a, an organization to donate $10,000 to that they're raising. And they did a Twitter Spaces today, and I think when we ended it, or they ended it, they had reached $3,500 of the 10,000. So um, if you're interested in helping support those victims, it's, it's I did, Nick Lovell did, Moonbeam Bruce did, um, even if it's a dollar. I, I was tweeting and retweet. I was retweeting pretty much all afternoon anything that they were posting. So um, you can find out information there. But and if you don't feel like donating there, um, even just sharing the link is really helpful. So if you don't feel like you're able to con or contribute financially, I totally understand. <laughs> Trust me, I totally get it. Um, but sharing it and just yeah, sharing the link is really helpful and yeah there's a lot i mean there's just there were so many victims so many homes so many ve like vehicles so just so much devastation and not just like a little bit of devastation we're talking like foundations just slabs left and and piles of what looked like garbage you know, just thrown around, mattresses and trees, cars and trees, nuts. So, I encourage you to, to just consider any of the supporting relief efforts. Red Cross has one. Um, I'm assuming that, let's see, Jana on Twitter 
Jonna Kreider. She has an organization that she speaks of. Um, she lives in Louisiana and it's constantly being hit by hurricanes. And it's called, what is that organization that, it's not Red Cross, it's like a specific to, to the New Orleans, Baton Rouge area. Uh, I assume they're probably doing something. And the tornadoes are continuing, so. But these are the guys that just came in, parked by me. So yeah, uh, y'all know weather is, is near and dear to my heart, and obviously we don't want anybody hurting ever, right? But Mother Nature is happening, and the, the only thing we can do about it is help rebuild. So, yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. What's up, Detroit? Hey, hey. What's up, Steve Hockley? Welcome to the Kirsch fam. Welcome to the Kirsch fam. Kirsch fam. Steve Hockley, thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Thanks for joining as a channel member. Appreciate your support very much. And this goes, it doesn't go without saying, I'm gonna say it. Uh, any Patreon supporters out there, you are not forgotten. I have supporters on Patreon who prefer not to be pointed out or else I would just read a, the list of people who have donated. Here we go, here's the inspection camera but some people prefer I not, and I do not want to disrespect that. So that's why I've been asking, where are my Patreon supporters at? Where you at, where you at? There we go, thanks so much Nick Lovell for putting that link in the chat. Cajun Navy, yes, Charlie Carey, that is what I was thinking, yes, exactly, you got it, the Cajun Navy, yes. Charlie Carey, the Cajun Navy, I'm assuming that they probably have something going, maybe not, but um, Louisiana, is consistently impacted by hurricanes, tornadoes, all that. And we are going straight into, I'm doing quotes right now with my hands, tornado season, which in my opinion really no longer exists. It's all year long. There's tornadoes around Christmas, tornadoes all year long now. So yes, thank you, Charlie Carey. Nick Lovell. If you do donate to that, go fund me. Um, it'd be awesome if you, uh, in the comments, if you said, hey, Jessica Kirsch sent me over here so that they know where the reach that this is reaching. That doesn't make sense, but you don't have to, but it's always good to kind of, in my opinion, it's helpful to know where people found out about something or heard about something or saw something and, or what made them click, or whatever. So, no pressure. But the Jessica Kirsch channel definitely showed up in force today, and I uh, would appreciate it. River Fork, Mississippi. Why do I have Missouri stuck in my head? Missouri, it's because of that song, Kenny Ray Horton song. Missouri, dun, dun, dun. JP has, has pure respect for the Cajun Navy. Okay, they're excellent. Uh-oh. Yeah, besides barely. What's up, Texas?
Texas tank watcher. The t that tornado was absolutely devastating. Check, check, mic check, 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 check. Checkity check. Mic check. Looks like it's only in one ear. Is that correct? Check, check. Okay, maybe it's not. It's seriously dark up there. Seriously hazing outside. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm a little tired. Thanks, y'all, for coming back. Wow. Uh, Emily, em, Emily Trottier, or Trottier, this is ship. Thank you, everybody, for coming back. Jimmy Z is here. I see the you. Hello, darling. Hello, Jamie. Give Mrs. Z my love for me, please. I think while we're, we're hanging here, I think they're wrapping up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a enjoy a nice Coca-Cola. I think I've got one. Oh. Oh. My bones hurt. My bones. Colas, I know I thought about them. For a special treat for this particular moment. With the stream dropped or something. Oh, I have water and Coca Cola. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Wow, that was so quick. Oh my gosh, they're still cold. Oh my gosh. They, oh my gosh, that never happens. It's a cold Coca Cola. Oh, how delish. It's alive. All right, y'all, you're going to hear my Coca Cola opening. Ready? Oh, that's such a good sound. Okay, they're going down, down to an earlier round. Okay, I'm gonna let them go out of the frame and then I'm gonna move it. There's one. Coca Cola. Mmm. That's delicious.
I need to figure out a, a backup battery, a backup of my backup battery situation to plug my live view unit into. Because it, I normally check the battery status on it, and I just happen not to, and boom, dead. So I should have a, it plugged into a battery at all times, I feel. When I'm away from my vehicle, which at the Rocket Garden is typical. So I apologize for how dark it is, um, but literally it's, I can't even see them with my naked eye up there, except for the light on, on somewhere. Uh, they, they're very good at keeping it dark to not give off any secrets not draw any attention so it's also hazy there's that too this is the best view that I can get for ya Oh, that Coca-Cola is delicious. We'll order some more lens cloths. <laughs> I should start on chapters right now while we're waiting. It's not Coke without the fids. That's right. I knew somebody would say it sounds like a beer, of course. Of course. Surprisingly enough, anything that's carbonated that opens like a can, it's a can and you open it like that, the pop tab, they sound pretty much the same. Thanks, JP. This is, uh, yeah, it's really super dark. Thanks, Dave Avery. Hi, I didn't see you there. Dave Avery is also a channel member. Thank you for being here. View is amazing for the ambient light levels. Thank you. I thought so too, but you know, people who haven't worked with low light and cameras might not understand just how precious even the most subtle bits of the subject matter are able to see, or you're able to see. I don't know if that made sense. G has a Coke problem. Coca-Cola, hell. Hey oh. Let's do a time. Current time, current weather, and I'm gonna do Port Isabel because. There is no Starbase yet, unfortunately, to the best of my knowledge. Also do weather, uh, South Pottery Island, because that's on the shore. Trim as you can see a little bit. I can bear, I mean, the camera is doing better than I am at being able to see up there. I've got my contact lenses in and everything. <laughs> Current humidity is 100% in Port Isabel. So that makes sense why everything is wet. In South Potter Island, current humidity is 99%. Yep. That's why it's so foggy, hazy, sea fog.
in Missouri. You have a big new monitor. Oh, that's cool. Congrats. Must be really nice to watch this on. Used. Gotcha. Understood. Still new. Even if it's used. I'm not sure it, yes, this is ship 24, S24. Not sure if you all have noticed, but uh, some of my most recent pre previous videos, I have added chapters to, to make it a little bit easier to scrub through them. Um, sometimes they're not exact, sometimes uh, I'm do I basically I get home and I'm really you know I'm tired I bring my gear in I've got a shower and then I go to bed right so I'm doing it after I shower and right before I fall asleep because um, if I don't do it then then tomorrow I'll just get on to the next stream and it will never happen so just want to let you know that that's happening and um, I'm working really hard to, to continue to do that uh, but sometimes it's it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what the words are. I hope that people are noticing. How's the next shoulder arm? Uh, right about the same. I took some ibuprofen and that's pretty much the only way I'm, I'm able to feel it less for now. Um, I, if I turn my neck a certain direction, it doesn't hurt as much, but it's a pretty sharp pain. And I've never had this kind of situation before, so it's kind of scary. Thank you for asking, Jimmy Z. Okay, let's see here. Check something. Ooh, find me.
observationist. The long pole you were asking about earlier is a, is a camera on a pole. Thank you very much. Live again. Whoop, whoop. All right, they may be, may or may not be finishing up up there, but I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Jimmy Z said I had the same issue. Required surgery after six months of therapy. Oh boy, I don't have health insurance, so uh, you were 35 when it happened. I'm 35. <laughs> Hopefully yours is different. I need to get health insurance. Um, good to know. What what was it? What was it, the issue that you had, Jimmy Z? Appreciate the sentiment, Mike. Every day is a long day. We just do what we can. Exploded disc in neck. Oh, gosh. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, perhaps tomorrow I'll look into health insurance. And uh, see if I can go see the doctor of sorts or get it checked out. The whole, like numbing sensation that's happening in my left hand and the sharp pain in my shoulder is just really not very fun to be honest oops okay i'm gonna go ahead and shut this stream down from this location and uh i may come back to you at the launch site if i can find a place to stand and and film from so to be determined everybody if I don't catch you before you leave or fall asleep um, I'll go ahead and step in front of the camera and just say good night or good day I'm gonna just shut this stream um, pack off and go check out what's going on down there I'm not tired This is all history, and uh, this is the first, this will be the first ever orbital flight test, the upcoming launch for Starship. So I don't want to miss it. I don't want you all to miss it, and I'd rather just be tired and in pain than not be out here at all. So, all right, I'll be back. Uh, hopefully, you'll stick around. If not, then hopefully you'll view it tomorrow. If not, then uh, see you on the next stream, and if not, then Thanks for trying out this stream. Okay, I'll be back. Turning camera off.
Welcome back, everybody. Now we are across the street from the orbital launch mount here at the SpaceX Starship Starbase launch site in Starbase Boca Chica, Texas. We are currently looking at the work happening atop the OLM, like I just said. I tend to repeat myself when I'm really tired, I guess. Uh, they're about to go on lunch break, so looks like they're just wrapping up a little bit. Um, we will see all the lights. I think typically they shut all the lights off when they go on lunch, so you'll see that here shortly. And they usually eat from 12 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. and then they come back. So uh, maybe they will weld through lunch, I'm not sure, but I'll still be here. I do have sunglasses on um, with the UV protection. I don't know how much they're helping, but I am looking through, looking at these purple lights in person and also through the lens. And I can't imagine that it is any, it's not, I can't imagine it's beneficial for my eyes even though if there's glass in the way. So I'm just trying to be cautious. Got someone who's wrapping cord, wrapping up cords on the left-hand side, cables, cords. The ventilation tube is coming out from the um, hatch door just quite a lot going on here. There go. I don't know exactly what is going on up there. It appears to be some kind of, uh, I, I'm not seeing like a lot of sparks. So I feel like it's, I need to find out the difference between MIG and TIG welding. They're not cutting, so it's not plasma torching. Just welding something. So I'm gonna put my glasses back on. It's really looking fine up there. Let me know if that looks in focus to you. It's as in focus as possible with the haze and all that good stuff. Please and thank you. Pretty epic looking, not going to lie. Look at all those cables, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, Jessica Kirsch. Let's see if I can zoom in further. Oh, oh. Darkness. So here's what we're looking at the bottom of the OLM. actually pull a chair out. I never do that.
They should get a stool with a back. That would be awesome. There we go, there's some angle grinding. This is what it looks like from afar.
Darius Cohen from Sydney. Hello. Hello, hello. I see Danielle Elliott is here. This is as cool as making homemade ice cream on summer. What's up, Danielle? How you doing? Empty helium.
They should be going on lunch anytime. Wow, those lights on that truck just blind, like it's straight up blinding me. <laughs> like a candy factory before Easter, that's right. Remind me again at what we're looking at, please. Sure, uh, we are looking at the SpaceX Starship orbital launch site. Um, specifically zoomed into the top of the orbital launch mount, also known as the orbital launch ring, also known as the orbital launch table. I think it looks like a big stainless steel donut. Uh, something out of like Star Wars, or not Star Wars, Star Trek. Star Wars, Star Trek, I can't remember which one. But they are on top of the OL, it's called the OLM but I always like to say all of those different term, or terms because depending on who you're talking to or listening to, um, they may use different terminology. So, morning, Scott. What's going on? Welcome. Thanks for being here, Dave. Okay, so there's some stuff going on up there. I'll have to wipe the lens soon. Everything is wet, very wet. Uh, let's just meander this way to the booster really quickly. There we go, we are looking at booster seven. It even looks moist. Lots of condensation, oops. All right, there we go. It's very dark, it's, un it's not lit. Okay, we're going backwards, going backwards, going backwards. That's the top of it, it's hard to see with this fog. There are the chines. Chine, 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 chines. Okay, now we're gonna go to the tower. The chopsticks are right here. We've got the hippos with the kettle boilers straight ahead, right in front of us. Obviously the orbital launch mount. We're gonna go up the tower, ready? Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Boo. Let me increase the ISO here. Oops, sorry, hold on, we're falling over. Let me get this stabilized. Here's what the tower looks like inside. Make sure you get as many looks inside as you can because down here, it's hard to tell, but that is cladding. And that will cover up the whole exterior of the tower. We will not be able to see in it at a certain point. So we wanna really enjoy these views as much as possible. Right, Dave Avery? Looks like that's as far as that tripod will allow me to go there. Okay, this is this green light here, here, and here. Those are floors 14 through 16 on the tower, and they comprise the ship quick disconnect area section. This is the ship quick disconnect arm right here.
I am holding the tripod on two legs, so sorry, it's bouncing around. And then if we go all the way to the back, or all the way to the back, all the way to the top, brrr. Have to get down low. Here's the top of the tower. Once again, on two legs of the tripod, keep going up, and that's the top. 469 feet. Did we get a super chat from somebody? Oh, heck yes. Let me look. Whew. Of course, we have the chopsticks carriage right there. And then over here, we've got the tank farm. That's a new bracket to me. That white, white thingy right there. I just haven't taken notice, I guess. All right. Super hazy. These are looking great. Wrapped so beautifully. Protected from the elements of the launch, the blast. And then we just saw one of these Hydro, or sorry, um, helium tankers. Sorry, this is a helium delivery, okay? Um, we just saw one of those go away, with, pulled off. Here are the generators. All right, we're going back over this direction. They're still up there, they taking lunch. Oh, they're sweeping. Clean up, clean up. Everybody likes to clean up. Thank you so much to Scat. Woo -hoo. Much love for all you do for that $2.47 British pounds. Super chat. Thank you, Scat. Snapping. On top of the launch ring, all covered with humans. We're waiting for a blast off. We just don't know when. Oh, Daniel, that was so good. On top of the launch mount, a launch ring all covered with humans. We're waiting for a blast off. We just don't know when. La 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 Michael Maxi, did I drink any water? No, I drink Coke, but great idea. I should do that. Good call, Mike. Good call. Brilliant, brilliant call. Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> Brilliant, brilliant idea. Top of the large belt, all covered with humans. There's a little bit of water.
doing clean up up there. Trying to see what else is going on. I think I'm gonna walk that way towards Hoppy. The moon is really beautiful. Let's see if I can get the moon. There we go. Moon. We thought they were angels, but to our surprise, we climbed aboard their starship and headed for the skies. We're the first people to Mars be returning. Um, if they survive, for sure. Why not? Or maybe they just want to stay. I think they will survive. Oh, there goes the moon. Got some focus. Moon. Wow, it's tons of sea fog up there. Right now, let's see, Marius asked, are there a lot of other people taking footage the same as I am? There are a lot of robot cameras that are, but I'm a human out here. So I travel far to get here, about 25 miles each way-ish. So right now they're on break, or they're on lunch. The moon is, is going down, right? Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy, it's definitely going down. If you're an integration tech for SpaceX, you can answer some questions if you want. Some is the main point. Well, folks, ask away. Brent, Brent Lewis, Brent Lewis. Okay, the moon is going 
out of the frame. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here and I'm going to walk to the main gate and see if there's anything interesting going on down there. I'll be right back. 33 people here. Thank you all for showing up. Brent, thanks for your service to SpaceX. Wouldn't be here without ya. Oh, the moon may or may not come in and out of you, so BRB. Oh, I'm gonna leave my microphone here. Hope it puts on a show for ya.
Okay, the moon. Sorry, it hasn't given me much of a show. All right, I'm going to make a move, everybody. Making a move. So if you're still here with me and you can still hear me, I'm going to temporarily turn the camera off, put it in my car, load up my tripod, put it in the car, and then do this all over again. So I think I found a different perspective that might not already be covered. I mean, it's being covered, but you know, not by me. So, hang tight with me. I see 26 people are here. Hello. I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep going. Is this is history. Can it type? Going to move locations. Hang tight. Maybe I'll keep you attached. Hmm, how do I do this? Well, I guess I'll just put you here and Okay, it's gonna be dark for a second, everybody, while I move. So just hang tight here. Don't be scared. You're still alive. Actually, I'm gonna shut this down. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. Hi everybody, welcome back. Jessica Kirsch here. I made a move. Thank you for hanging tight with me. I'm gonna eat a little snack, drink some water, and we're gonna watch the OLM from a different angle, which is this one. It is now officially Monday, March, 27th, 2023, I think, 26th or 27th, it's 27th, there is a road closure, last I checked, road closure beginning at 8 a.m., it's currently 12.48 a.m., I'm going to put the mic, I'm going to put the microphone up by the camera for a little bit. And I hope you enjoy the show.
up there, literally and figuratively, lit. Oops. So cool. Dave Avery, did you say crane action? Herm. Um. Oh yeah, look at that. Ermagersh. Jessica, oh my gosh, it's so lit right now. Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. These are the moments that are my absolute favorite. <laughs> I love a nighttime stream. I love all the colors. Even if it's hazy, it just makes it so much more sci-fi feeling. I'm 
That's so cool. Good call on the crane action. I wouldn't have noticed that on this tiny little screen. Zoom out. Whoa, that's epic. Wow. All right, I'm glad we moved. This is epic. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so glad. Feeling really good about this. We're really positive. How are you all feeling about it? Feeling pretty good? Whoa, that's so cool. Looks like a dinosaur that tarp does. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow. Holy Pajoli's Batman. I may need to wipe this down. Yeah, it's probably need to wipe down. Holy Pajoli's. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> Doodle's still here. Dave Avery is still here. Brent Lewis is still here. Scat is still here. Meeker, 29Y, is still here. Luis Matthew is still here. Jessica Kirsch is still here. Can you believe it? Charlie Carey is still here. And maybe a few other people. Oh, crane. We have a, a crew lift going, going down, down on the right hand side. On the far right of the frame is the booster the side of the booster with I think that's the dance floor or maybe it's not maybe it's just the, the um, raptor stand Jimmy Z is still here y'all are just the best so are they going to put panels along the bottom piping question What do you think? Check, check. Okay, I'm gonna turn my microphone up. Gosh, I got bitten by something. Check, 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 is that better? Check, check. Checkity check, check, check. That's better. Wow, that's good. Humans up there.
Yeah, the horse flies are out. And it's very real. Maybe that's what got my legs. Under my socks. Forklift. There's a forklift in the foreground. So much action, I love it. Oh, there is now inspections happening beneath the OLM. I see a flashlight or headlight. So much work happening. Everybody, friendly reminder to check your resolution settings. Make sure you're viewing this at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is the highest resolution available with this stream pack. I don't want you to miss any delicious details. I just checked my phone. I was viewing it in 720 and wondering why it looked pixelated. Do, 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 do. I see a crew lift going up underneath. So many humans. Oh my god, effing T Rex t shirt. Right? Ermigerd T Rex. I like that doodle. <laughs> it really looks like it's flying. It's so funny. Jason Brown, all good. Hope the same for you, just checking in. Thank you for checking in. It's always a great, it's always nice to see your name in the chats. Um, thank you, Jason, for, for checking in every so often. It's just really meaningful. My phone is plugged into power right now, so it's being super wacky. The 
for some reason it gets all crazy when it has power connected to it. Brent says, fun thing about the t-shirts, there's no dress code for SpaceX besides jeans and steel-toed boots. That's what I've heard. I love it. Y'all get a discount from the SpaceX store, I believe, is what I was told. I was on there a couple nights ago and I was like Googling discount code SpaceX, you know, and with all the spam or like all that clickbait would lead me to these websites and there was, I could never find a promo code. Aw, oh, thanks so much. You're so kind. There's so much going on up there. It's amazing. It doesn't look nearly as delicious on my phone as it does on the camera, but doing the best we can. I might connect it to Starlink and see if it will get any higher resolution. Uh, check out the, the foreground crane action. Like Dave said, it's, it's definitely pulling something up. This is the best time. I love this time of night. Okay, it, it might shake for a second. I'm gonna add my, see if I can get my Starlink to connect to this. If we can get eight to nine megs, then it would be seamless. Hopefully seamless, close to seamless. That is so epic up there, oh my gosh. Yay! Looks like Dishy is connected. Verifying. Completed, yes! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I hear an impact driver somewhere. So much happening, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, what do we have installing on the bottom? Beneath are those shielding panels, probably, I see. And they're moving right along. We're just under eight megs upload speed. I'll take it. Oops.
Hey Megawatts, happy 37th birthday. 15 bucks a shirt, so this guy. Is it normally like 25? It's pretty good. I really like the backpack and I really love the bomber jacket. I'm just afraid it's going to be too big. I like my my jackets to be tight, really tight and small. Oh yeah, access door, okay. All right, crane's going down, down. There's so much going on, this is so cool. Who's having fun? I'm having fun. Man, it's so fun when there's stuff going on. Hey, Marcus B. Sounds like a dog.
I see some humans up in the tower. Trying to see where. I think they're down one level. Right. These are right there. Yep, there's a headlamp. He sees the headlamp. Headlampage. What an epic image right there, wow. Wish you could capture all of it, but then I couldn't zoom. There's definitely a T-Rex up there.
Jason Brown, I'm just seeing uh, your message in the chat about your cat passing away named Sky. Oh, I'm so sorry. Gosh, I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry. You thought of me and Stella, huge loss. You weren't planning on saying anything about it in open chat when I came on. I'm sure you understand. I, my heart goes out to you. I'm so, so sorry. There, I, there's really nothing I can say, I you know, to make it feel better other than I feel for you so much. Hey Beacon, hey Stephen Lewis, Jane Saville, what's going on? Oh, I'm sending a virtual hug. Dudes be working. And, and, and. Gosh, yes. It's still, still sometimes I wake up and I'm, I'm like Stella. And then it's Mars, um, which I'm happy that I have Mars and I wouldn't have Mars had Stella not passed. However, um, it still hurts that she's gone because we spent so much time together and she's, you know, just, yeah. It's okay, I'm glad you said something in open chat. A lot of people can relate. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this. She was my girl. Losing a pet is just as painful as losing a best friend or a family member, I feel. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna clean this with isopropyl alcohol. Here we go. I think I just made it worse. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Scratched. Oof. Thanks. Just got really kind of chilly down here. Can't tell if I'm making it better or worse. Hmm. We'll try that. Aw, thanks, James. Oh, she was 15, or Sky was 15. He or she.
Gucci. Aww. Sweet sky. Yeah, it doesn't make it any easier though, knowing that Michael Maxey. She lived a long life, yes, but it still is hard. It still is difficult. We have 192 thumbs ups on this stream. I wonder if we can hit 200. What do you all think? Anybody? Uh, there's 32 people here watching, which is wild. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up button, if we could get it over 200, that would be nuts. Please and thank you. There's so much going on in there. Isn't that cool, Chrome Kiwi? So cool. So cool. So, so cool. It really did get chilly, wow. Okay, everybody, uh, the, 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 where's my mic? Where's my microphone? Microphone, I'm gonna take a break, everybody. So I'll be back in about five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna drink some water, sit down, take a break, break, break. Thank you for hanging out, ooh. Chrome Kiwi just sent over $5. 50 cents New Zealand dollars. Thank you so much, Chrome Kiwi. I am Scott. It's amazing. Thanks for these views. Thank you, Chrome Kiwi. Thanks for your appreciation. We are watching VR, Jason. That's so cool.
Oh, Mike. Ebony is 14. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask, you know, um, how old Ebony was. I'm sorry that you've had to bury four dogs in 25 years. Taking a quick break. Where did those humans go? Pretty sure that all the action is right here. I can get this. Let's the real colors that it is. There we go. Oh yeah.
Hi, everybody. Pretty sure I see. Oh yeah, I see a headlamp up here somewhere. My contacts are super dry. I want to give a shout out to everybody for hanging out who's still here. I see a headlamp in the ship quick disconnect arm. Woo, that's exciting. The weather is not usually like this, especially this time of year. Very rarely is it like this. Please don't be envious. Ooh, look at the booster.
that's neat. Need a burrito. Trying to get in frame. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have stepped out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this stream. I think I need to back up a little bit. Uh, it's been it's been a great stream. This work that they've been doing on the OLM has been in overtime, I guess, tonight. Um, I am running out of steam, so I'm going to pack up. But I really appreciate you all watching and continuously coming back. And I'm starting to slur my speech. That means I'm really tired. Uh, my name is Jessica Kirsch. I am coming to you street side across our highway side. This is Boca Chica Highway, also known as Highway 4, Boca Chica Road, Boca Chica Boulevard. And I am directly across the street from the SpaceX South Texas launch site here in Starbase, Boca Chica, Texas. On the border, by the sea, and beyond, this is where Starship, Ship 24 and Booster 7 will have its maiden orbital flight test number one, so OFT1. So if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to hit subscribe if you're interested in more of these kinds of videos. Uh, tonight was pretty chill. They put on a show for us all night, pretty much all night. Uh, if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, I was at the Rocket Garden and they were working on what appeared to be sealing up or finalizing, doing final inspections of Ship 24. So that's exciting. Uh, they're moving right along with the OLM and um, I'm not sure what the progress is on the water deluge recently, as of like yesterday, um, but they are moving right along with that too. So it's coming, it's a coming. Today's date is currently, let's see. Today's date is Monday, Monday, March 27th, 2023. Time is currently three. 29 a.m. Central Daylight Time or Central Standard Time. I don't know, one of those. And yeah, it was a great night. I'm going to take a few pictures and then I'm going to roll on out. There is a road closure scheduled for 8 a.m. today, Monday the 27th. I believe it's just some testing. Um, I do not plan on covering it, so uh, there's plenty of other channels that may be covering it. I need to get some sleep and uh, rest my neck and my back and my arm and all that stuff. But thanks for anybody who sent over donations uh, on PayPal or Venmo or Cash App. Um, also, shout out to my Patreon supporters and my channel members, my YouTube channel members. You know who you are. I... Um, couldn't do this without you and haven't been able to get to this point without your support. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm hugging. My arms are hurting. Um, I love you. I love you all. And um, before we go, everybody put their favorite animal in the chat. What's your favorite wild animal? I'm going to put a turtle. Toro. What's your favorite wild animal? Put it in the chat. Good night, everybody. Good morning, Angelo Vieira. Vieira. What's your favorite animal? Hold on. I have other favorite animals, but turtles, what came to time? James says, uh, James Savile says tiger. Marius says a unicorn. I love it. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Megawatts, are you, megawatts. Are you calling me ballerina? There are 35 people, come on, put your favorite animal in the chat. Please, please thank you. Let's end this stream with a rar. Yesterday I ended it with, what's your favorite color, blue? Or sorry, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Mine is blue. Uh, Eagle, says Jason Brown. Hi, Cakeism Trader, nice to see you. All right, one, two, three, four. Four people out of 34, I'll take it.
Good enough. Honey badger, says Kirk Rains. Love it. Honey badger. That's five. It's your favorite animal. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. And uh, with that said, I will see you on the next stream. Make sure you are subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on. Megawatts is, is lion. And shout out to the SpaceX team and employees and contractors who uh, make all this work possible. Thanks for giving us a show and doing what you're doing to make us multiplanetary. And of course, thanks Elon Musk. Good night, everybody. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.